Hey everyone, I want to thank you in advance for joining 8 Count Kitchen for our Valentine's Day special. Today we're doing a special play on chocolate and bacon. We know everybody loves bacon and what's Valentine's Day without chocolate? Today we're going to work out some dope pork belly that's going to be nice and crispy on the top. And then we're going to work up a great chocolate ganache. That's right, chocolate, not ganache, but ganache, because we're going to replace that heavy cream with some delicious eggnog, and it's going to add some nice spices. Then we're going to whip up a delicious dessert couscous, and that dessert couscous is going to have shaved coconut, craisins, blackberries, blueberries, some mint, and a decadent, decadent chili and cayenne pepper chocolate ganache. It's going to be amazing. Sit back, relax, and see what I work up with. First thing you want to do is remove the bone from the pork belly. Next, you want to generously season with salt, pepper, and chili powder on the fat side up and then again on the meaty side. I'm going to put it fat side down into the aluminum foil, like so. And then I'm going to bring them together. And I'm actually going to wrap it. You want to wrap it in here because we're going to roast it. We're going to roast it first so we can get some of that smoky flavor, get all that good loving on the inside. We're going to remove it from the oven, put it on the stove top, and then we're going to get a nice sear on the top. And it's going to be crispy, luscious, delicious. We're going to cut little one inch deep slits into the pork. First, we'll cut the short way, then we'll turn the pork sideways and cut the long way. These slits add for great presentation and also makes it easier to get a nice golden brown sear on that pork belly. We'll cut them into small cubes. We'll generously season and then sear them fat side down. Feel free to use something heavy to add some pressure to the pork. This helps to achieve that golden brown sear. You want to make sure your pan is extremely hot and your oil is even hotter. Be careful for flying popping oil, it isn't fun. So I recently got put on the couscous and I have to tell you it's one of my favorite ingredients to work with. You can use it for savory dishes and sweet dishes and that's exactly what we're going to do today. And now for our dessert couscous. You want to heat about one cup and a half of water. Once the water has boiled, you want to add your couscous. Remove it from the heat and cover it. The steam will help the couscous to absorb that moisture, expand and cook through. Now you want to cook the couscous down in a little bit of coconut oil. It's rich in nutrients and has a hint of sweetness to it. Once it's browned a bit, stir in your eggnog. Add brown sugar, blueberries, blackberries, shaved coconut, and craisins. Now for our ganag. Pour eggnog into a saucepan and let simmer. Once you start seeing some bubble action, add your organic dark chocolate quinoa bar and your chili chocolate and stir until chocolate is melted. Next. Add all of your spices, allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon, lots of cayenne pepper, and about a tablespoon of coffee. Add about a teaspoon of coconut oil so we can help achieve that silky chocolatey texture. Now for the fun part, garnish and plating. You want to slice up a couple of strawberries and then a bit of mint using a chiffonade technique. Roll it up and then make very small slices down to the other side. Now you have beautiful garnish for your dessert couscous. Get a nice amount of chocolate on your basing brush and go all out, Picasso style. Once you've got a nice stroke, place dessert couscous in the center, arrange garnishes, place two pieces of seared pork belly on both sides, and serve. After serving this to your special someone, I can guarantee it'll be love at first bite. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in to 8 Count Kitchen's Valentine's Day special. We had a dessert couscous that was amazing, had delicious and decadent berries in it, and a subtle sweetness that kind of reminded me of a rice pudding. And then we had a cool play on bacon and chocolate. And what we did is a seared pork belly that was roasted first and then seared off for some crust. And then we did a chocolate ganag, which was we removed the heavy cream and added eggnog instead. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this amazing, dope Valentine's Day special. Make sure you tune in, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Till next time. Beep. One. I'm going to sear it right in the oven to get that night. Well, why, how the hell are we searing it in the oven? Slow down, man. Just talk slow. It's just coconut. I think it's coconut, but we'll find out. Hey, Linda. No. But for real? <laughs> okay, okay. Come on. Okay. okay. We're done! <laughs> We're done! <laughs> hey. 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 Get it. Get it light.
Be sure to tune in to Season 2 of Food Network's All-Star Academy airing February 14th, yes, Valentine's Day, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.